I'm not that good yours. We're live right now in the new studio. Hi. Hi. There's going to be things put up on the wall. This is Daniel. Don't call him Damn Daniel. He hates that. He hates that because I guess everyone did. Damn, Damn. Damn. Back at it again with the white vans. Look at me, baby. There we go. All right. Do you want me to check or you good? Do a check one more hey. time. Absolutely. Look, there I am. Check, check. <laughs> one, two, three. Playboy Watch Radio myself. powered by Dash Radio. Right on. So we'll be with you. Daniel's got to fix a few things because my voice can be annoying to uh, engineer. Okay, and to your wife too, I guess. You're hunching. Stop. There you go. Don't slouch. I hate when you say that. Don't slouch. I'm gonna slouch it. I can slouch if I want to. You would slouch too. All right, I'll get it off me. Hold on. Slouches. No. You're Sabrina, Todd, what's up? As the audience is building, it's great to see you guys. Say hi to Sabrina and Todd. Hi, Sabrina and Todd. So sad we won't see Sabrina this year. Wait, Sabrina, where are you? We won't be at Calgary uh, because we're going to be in Jamaica. Jamaica me crazy, man. I think Sabrina. No, Sabrina's not in Calgary. I think see she's my Edmonton. stupid old phone? Your phone is fine. <laughs> fine, fine, fine. What's up, Matt? I can say hi to people as we're, Montana, Montana, Montana's on. Montana. From Edmonton. Oh. Can I talk more about that? My lover. Yeah. Sabrina's She's from Edmonton. Crazy. No, Montana's from Montreal. Sorry, Montana's from Montreal. What's up, Matt? Can't wait to meet your friends at 30 Perv coming up. Sabrina, Edmonton, they got the club opening soon, I hope. Vaughn, what's up? Mark, what's up? Can we get out of your way? There we go. They're fixing my uh, microphone, so. Daniel, our These engineer. I think we're going to get to know Daniel pretty well over the next year or two. Right. Awesome. Carlos, what's up? I won't be able to say hi to everybody once I get this thing going, but you know. Uh, Do you have it on right now, baby? What What's showing? Me? Can I see it? Hold on, you guys. I'm trying to uh, adjust this. Let me see it. I give you dirty looks a lot. You think? <laughs> can I be talking to that one girl? Can I, you can also raise this to make it look comfortable. Do you have it on right now, baby? What? Check, check, one, two, hello, hello. Nate, what's up, Johnny? Everybody, we're just getting it all ready here. And that's gonna show it. Detroit loves we love you, Detroit. Thank you. Keith, Sabrina, everybody. There we go. Alright, now I think we got it. And we're hoping the system stays. You want me to do a check? Oh no, no kind of coming out. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's all right. It's way too quiet. Is it? Yeah. Right. Oh, I can sit back and don't have to hold anything. I hate holding things. New studio. Can't hear myself though. My, oh, there's my volume. So I've got myself only in my left ear. Is that normal? You're only should in your left ear? Should it be in studio or, or should it be in stereo or no? It, it should be. That's I hear you in both ears. Can you hear me in both ears? Yeah. Wait, I, yeah, mine's just my right. Sorry, my right. It's all right. I don't need to hear it. I don't need to hear it. You sure? Yeah, as long as you got me good there. Yeah. Talk one more time for me. Playboy Radio's Holly and Michael about to go live from the new radios at Dash. All right, awesome. All right. Phone, phone vibrates. Uh, don't yeah. worry, don't worry. All right, cool. All right, I'm hoping everyone can hear us there on Facebook Live. Uh, Daniel is going to give us the go. We're going to go for the first time in our new studios. Kind of, it's nice uh, de-virginizing something. You know? It's been a while. Really? I you gave up on like that. Well, what do you mean you don't like that? I stopped with virgins. <laughs> So Hi, did I. What's up, Stephanie? Keith says you're looking good, Holly. Thank you. Happy Halloween, Stephanie. What are you dressing up as? Hug day. Dan, Daniel, is there a way to put it on the speakers up here too, or no? Then it's gonna sound in here. Yeah. That's oh, bad. it will. No, it'll echo through the mic. Really? Yeah. No, the old studio. Yeah, it echo through the mic. Not the old studios. When did we it? had, yeah, it's like putting a radio on when you're calling into a radio station. No, because that should be yeah, what we're saying. Does to Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I know there's gonna be stu- uh, cameras in here, but ah, Stephanie's gonna be Poison Ivy. Love it, love it. They should just put cameras in here. They're gonna put cameras in here. The whole studio is gonna be cameraized. Everything. Cameraized. Cameraized. Caramel. Ooh, I'm making caramel popcorn tonight. Are you? Yeah. I'm not. I'm not. With chocolate. Getting ready. It's gluten free. It is gluten free. That's true. I love popcorn. I love popcorn. This is true too. I do love popcorn. Mm-hmm. Because I don't. Because I, it's you too don't sweet. Know. Too sweet. Like we were talking, it's cognitive to reconditioning. Cognitive dissonance. <laughs> dissonance. Cognitive dissonance. Cognitive distance. All right, Modern Love with Holly Michaels about to go live. Why Modern Love? Because you know what? That entitles, incorporates, encompasses it all. We used to have a call, show called Yesteryear. <laughs> Yester Love. Yesteryear Love. Yesteryear Love. I love it. Yeah. X Club Halloween was insanity. You two would have loved it. Mark, we were so sad we couldn't have been there. Um, we were back in LA. It was the first time in three weeks. Oh, you know what you do? If, what? If I turn it down, it's only in my left ear. If you turn it up, it goes it goes in both ears? No, no, no. That's all right. I don't care. Nice try, though. We're going to act like you know what you're doing. We're going to act like you know what you're doing. Yeah. It's all right. It's all right. We'll be... Uh, but X Club was insanity. I love hearing that. Sean and Hannah always put on a great party. The X Club's Always. amazing. Very proud to be ambassadors from them. Very proud to be affiliated with them. And many other clubs around the country, too. Many other Hub City Select, great. Yeah. Colette, great. Uh, in the U.S. X Club. I know Sabrina uh, was looking at opening one up in Edmonton. I'm not sure where they're at cool. yet with that. So that'll be, that'll be cool. Wasn't she the teenage, teenage witch? Teenage witch. <laughs> I'm sure she started hearing that, too. Yeah, yeah. probably. Are we good or no? Yeah, we're good. Hello, bro. Yeah, Holly has nothing. Well, Holly. From Holly. From Blue. Blue. Yeah, no, that's. Yeah. We got you, baby. No, the other Holly. No, I know, but we got you. I got you, babe. I got you, babe. The three of us are we're we're, uh, we're breaking in the studio. Okay, Sabrina's got to message us with the details. I love it. The three of us. It's like a the foursome, maybe. The Where's threesome? the fourth? <laughs> the studio is the fourth. Tell, uh, tell me when you're ready. We'll go. You're good. Buddy. Oh, we're good. We're good? Yeah. All right. Nice not doing it with an intro, but you guys will have the intro later. No, you can start right now. You can't we? Yeah, because it's pre-recorded. Oh, okay. Right? Yeah. All right. Playboy Radios, Holly and Michael coming to you live on Dash Radio. This is Modern Love. Unbelievable day today. So much fun. We have talked about it a couple times. It's nice to be home. Uh, I love being on the road. I love meeting family. We say family because blood may make you related, but loyalty makes all of us family. It is, uh, it is just a blessing to, to be family with it so many is, people. It is, it is. Coming up, we'd love for you to join. I can't remember join. everyone's name, but no. it's a blessing to be family. It's a blessing to be family. <laughs> again, we've mentioned it. Let's mention it again. What a great time at Desire for the unveiling of their new skin. Go to desire-experiences.com mm-hmm. uh, to check it out. So much going on. Desire Cruise next September through October 3rd. It's the end of September through October 3rd. You and I will be broadcasting live. We will also be doing two or three seminars. Yes, we will. Going from Venice, Italy to Bologna, Italy, over to three stops in Croatia, one stop in Slovenia, yep. back, back to, Venice. to Venice. Incredible experience. Check it out. Again, desire-experiences.com. We leave Friday for Jamaica to be with the Dirty Purrs. It is sold out. So you can go to iosconnections.com and check it out for next year. They've got three events, but yeah. it's sold out, baby. Wow. That's awesome. It's awesome. Can't wait to meet everybody. Um, our good friend Matt up in Regina, the city that I'm in, was sharing some pictures and photos from a pictures in a packet. packet. <laughs> Sorry, it's a friend's reference. Friend's reference. Was showing some photos uh, with permission and shared some photos with me and one of the couples that was there will be with us in Jamaica. Can't wait to meet them in person and, and see them. The Dirty Purves. From Regina. From Regina, the city that rhymes with Is fun. it nice and moist? You know what you love from that area? What? My Rough Rider jacket. Yes. The Matt sent me. I do like that. You like I that? I wore one? that and only that at one of the parties at, for iOS, actually. For iOSConnections.com, you did Cincinnati. in Cincinnati. Go to iOSConnections.com to check out Dirty Perv Week and all their other events. You and I will be back at Desire Resorts January 3rd through the 10th for the fourth year in a row for International Swingers Month, ISM 2017. You do not have to be a swinger, per se, based on the label. To you and I, that means anybody that is open-minded. Yes. Anybody that is sex positive. Anybody that's got modern love, 
in a modern day relationship. You don't have to take a test for that, do you? You don't have to take a test for that. <laughs> well, I'm not good at tests, so please. Sex positive. The only thing yeah, you have okay. to pass, baby, is being open minded. Okay. Being tight doesn't hurt either. Right? Open minded. Hey, you know I am. I know you are. I, it's funny because I, I heard guys in the locker room, man, she's so loose. And you know what I'm thinking? What? How small are you? Right. I'm thinking, really, dude. Blame it's, it on the woman. Don't, know, right? don't blame it on the woman. And last but not least, March 2017, Young Swingers Week. You and I will be there. Speaking and broadcasting, go to youngswingersweek.com to check that out. April will be back in Jamaica with uh, Wild Women Vacations and the Playful Pussycats. Yes. There you go. I like That's, these microphones. I know. I'm liking the new. I just missed my mic. I call it a condom cover. That's the only thing I'm missing is the condom cover. I never liked it. I know. You, no, don't, like, I don't, you don't like condoms. Do you? <laughs> we always practice safe sex. Um, we don't use dental bands or anything like that. No, or no vaginal bands. bands. But safe sex when it's real sex. Safe radio for me, because, you know, I might, you might spit? I might spit on the microphone, and then Daniel's going to be here with someone else thinking, uh, he just spit oh, on the microphone. Oh, gross. <laughs> you do not want to know what he did to all that. The, <laughs> all the new shows coming up on Playboy Radio, powered by Dash, incredible. And the other great thing, too, when you when you go download the Dash app, you're going to notice that there's about, what, 72, 73 channels, Daniel? 80 plus. 80 plus channels wow. now. You by Dan or Daniel? Danny. Danny. All right, Danny. Danny. Damn, Danny. No, Danny. Uh, we'll get to know Danny over over the course of a lot of years. We're going on over five and a half years here on Playboy Radio Proud, as we mentioned earlier in the week, to be the only show coming over. Uh, a lot of new things coming up with Playboy Radio, all on the Playboy platform, all what you come to expect, which is the sexiest radio on radio. Yes. It really is. But well, I haven't heard that for a while. The sexiest radio on radio. radio. I like that. There you go. Playboy Radio powered by? Dash. There you go, baby. It's a mouthful. Just never mind. <laughs> never mind. I won't go any further on that one. I won't go any further. <laughs> Good job. When you and I talk often about uh, single life, dating life, people, all that kind of stuff, what are some of the top mistakes, in your opinion, that, that humans, for lack of a better humans, word, okay. Girl make, gang boys. make, whether they're dating one-on-one, or they're in a consensually non-monogamous relationship dating uh, single men, single women, or couples. What's their biggest mistake? What do you think are some of the top mistakes? I think that they don't tell the truth about themselves, possibly. All right, so what, don't how, okay, don't tell the truth. How so? Uh, well, we watch a lot of shows. Um, for for instance, forget watching the shows. Talk about what yeah, happens to you and I personally. Personally? Yeah. Remember my dating days? <laughs> <laughs> um, they would just pers- I would perceive them to be totally different, and then once you got to know them, you realize. Wait, perceive that means that you led yourself I to led believe something believe versus something they shared with you. They put their best foot forward, and then all of a sudden they started showing their true colors after a month or two, and right. it, pro- it wasn't the best of colors. All right, what I think though is they stretch the truth. So in their oh, online totally. profile, you and I meet a lot of women that we play with mm-hmm. uh, through online profiles. At events and parties, I don't see that happening in as much, simply because... There's nothing to prove at those parties. Right, and it's sometimes... Again, when you and I are on Tinder looking for women, or swingy.com, or adultfriendfinder.com, and we're looking for the single women, or at times couples that we may or may not play with, mm-hmm. online profiles, they may, like you said, put their best foot forward. Right. So... A sing- that's, I mean, that's the first thing you see. Well, it's like a job interview. Right. It's like a job interview. You're not going to list... I don't want... Don't you tell me everything. Some bad stuff. Yeah, if you tell me everything that sucks about you, odds <laughs> are we're not gonna like Can swipe the right way. At you. Imagine. I think we should make that dating site to where everyone just puts the worst things possible that they've ever done. I'm bad at relationships. Commitment right. sucks. I've cheated on all my partners. I bet it would get a lot of hits though. Because Probably. You're being honest. You're putting Probably. your worst foot out there. And what else? Do you you have only uphill to go. From you only have uphill to go. From right. So, okay, I agree with you. One of the top mistakes people make, whether they're in a consensually non-monogamous relationship dating single men, single women, or other couples, or they're single going on first dates or fifth dates, is stretching the truth. Right. To me, the top one, though, to me, and, I, and I'm just saying personally, is assuming. Assuming what? Assuming. Making assumptions about the other person you're meeting. Making assumptions when they say something instead of using healthy communication. So tell me, what do you mean by the fact you like uh, bondage, right? Right. Because you may be assuming... How far do you go? Well, hold on. The assumption may be, I'm, I'm a dumb, I'm an alpha man, so I might be assuming that the woman wants me to tie her up. Uh-oh. But really what she meant is, no, you're asking me tied up, rope tied, hog tied up. I would love Don't to assume. meet this woman. Yeah, that's not happening. She would be amazing. That's not happening. 
You know I don't switch. I'm dumb all the way. Dumb all the way. Current photos, absolutely. You don't want to assume what they look like. It's not fair to lie that oh, way. God, I agree with you, Jason. Uh, Sabrina, let me address that. We are not sure about Edmonton. We won't be in Calgary. Edmonton is a possibility. We'll let you guys know about that soon. So that's a mistake, though, is assuming. Talk. Ask. Relate. Yeah, true. Share. But I think a lot of people, I mean, when you first start dating, what are you going to share with the person? Unless you typically are looking for a longer term relationship, what are you going to share with that person that you're seeing? That you're not looking. True. Okay, true. I mean, don't let, here, great example, when you and I go out and meet a single woman or a couple, mm -hmm. and again, you're far more by the guy. We talk about that often. Uh, I don't pressure you into things. Nothing like that. You make the decisions, and, and as a strong alpha dom man, life is a lot easier when I let you make those decisions sexually. Oh, yeah. It really is. So many people after we did the show two weeks ago said, hold on, revisit that dom sub thing again, because they didn't understand. A, I, I didn't even understand half of it. A true sub dom relationship, the submissive has more, the majority or all of the control. Right. Because at any point, the submissive can say, done, walk it away, and you have no more sub. Yeah. And the Dobbins' responsibility is to provide pleasure, stimulate them physically, mentally, sexually, all those different ways. Mm -hmm. All right. So a lot of so don't assume. It goes back to that. Ask. Ask for clarification. What do they mean? If it's just a casual hookup, hey, you want to just keep this NSA? Right. No strings attached. My neighbor did that. Not he just national security. Flat out said this is only for fun. And I'm like, cool. You're like, I'm in. He said it up front, so I liked it better that way than right. assuming that we were going to date or things like that. And I wasn't assuming that, but. You and I even, you want some water? You and I even talked about that where this was just for fun. It wasn't a friends with benefits because you and I weren't friends first. There were no strings we were attached to you. First. We weren't. That's always nice to hear. We weren't. We met at my gym and, and then you and I went out and we had sex. And we kept having sex. Yep. And you wore me down. No, I'm kidding. All right. Another mistake I believe people make is drinking too much. Oh, totally. Whether you're one-on-one -on, -one on a date or you're, as a couple, you and I on a date. Uh, eat. You can get sloppy. Liquid courage, okay. Yeah, and I understand bit. why people a do a little bit of drinking. Um, I dated a lot of younger guys when I was single, and that was really stupid because they drank so much. And it just turned out to be a horrible night. I was usually the sober one, so. Was it stupid or was it they could have been nervous or they were binging because, like you said, they were younger and they were they just. They were younger. I mean, 21. Yeah, no, 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 let's go party. <laughs> yeah, they were always over age. I know. They were always under 22, so. There you go. <laughs> Another mistake couples make mm -hmm. in what you and I define as modern love, a modern day relationship, consensual non monogamy, whatever term you want to use. A huge mistake, though. I see couples make, I said it earlier, taking one for the team. Oh, yeah. Don't take one for the team. Don't ever. Right. I mean, you're going to regret it, and you're going to resent the person for... Well, odds are you're going to regret I mean, it. Usually you're, usually you're expecting something after that. Like, oh, you, I did this for you, you're going to do it for me. And then you're setting yourself sucks. up for failure. Exactly. Right, it does. I mean, if if we meet a couple, and you say, listen, I'm, I'm into her, but I'm not so into him, uh, can you go up and convince him? No, because I'm not going to ask him to take one for the team. Because what you're asking that guy to do. So Mickey. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so, because at that point, what I you're asking him to that. be is convince him to let me play with his woman. And maybe you too, but he can't touch me. Uh, those guys. And there are sometimes because you're not into all the guys. You're far more by the guy. But I would never, and I know you would never ask I mean, me to. You're with, you're with women. You know what I'm. I listen. <laughs> you're right. I was born a women lesbian. Are amazing. I was born a lesbian. I don't deny it. I've come out of the closet Fine. a long time ago. I am a lesbian. I am, okay. yes. And uh, that just happened to be trapped in a man's body. Right. That's all. So don't take one from the team. And I feel one other mistake people make, and, and understand the way I say this, though, not experimenting. And I don't necessarily sexually? mean that. See, and that's what I'm saying. Don't just go sexually. Okay. What I mean by that is I'm referring to different types of events, yeah. different types of parties. Different types of people. Vacations and ways to meet people. Okay. Right. So, and it could also mean different types of people. If you're used to the same type of person and this happens. So but you you're back to sexually, though. No, 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 no. Even just relationship wise. Oh, where to meet people. Yeah, of course. Right. So, where do you meet people? Again, that goes back to the different type of events. I've known people that have said, I'll never meet somebody that's an, I, I'll never date an attorney. Well, why not? You might meet, think about Lindsay and Shane. Nobody would know those two are, and they're not in the lifestyle, but nobody, right. nobody would know those two are attorneys. God, no. Based on the way they just love to live. They, mm -hmm. they love to party. They love to have fun. They're incredible people. 
So yep. don't limit your dating pool. I'll never meet somebody that uh, my family or friends introduced me to. How come? I just uh, I just was told by a friend of mine that they know a couple that only date certain type of people. They're they're in the lifestyle. Well, okay, but that and they only date blondes or they only date it, which limits yourself. Yes, but let me ask you. Okay. When you are a couple, yeah, you participate in consensual non-monogamy, and you're talking about them being swingers. Yes. Is it more okay then to limit yourself because now you're saying I've got my life partner? Of course. I'm because with you and I, I'm 100 percent emotionally monogamous to you. Mm -hmm. But if you and I were to say we're more attracted to X and Z, but we're just not attracted to Y. Right. We have each other. So does Y really matter that we're limiting Y out or, or kicking Y out? True. I guess it doesn't matter. But... Single different, right? Oh, yeah. Single, totally. you may find something you like that you didn't know was there. Yeah. And but you're not opening your mind up to the possibility of other people. When you're single. Of course. Same thing could be said for you and I. Mm -hmm. But you, the, you, you do have some people you say no. You're, there, yeah. There's certain people that... Just rub you the wrong way. It's very not, picky. Yeah, it's you're very and you should be not just because you're smoking hot, but you should be because <laughs> you respect no, yourself. No, but you respect yourself. Yeah. And being consensually non-monogamous does not mean you have sex with everybody. It does not necessarily mean you have sex with anybody. Yeah. Because you can receive mental stimulation. That's what happens to me. Yeah, you do. Because <laughs> I don't stimulate you that much. Uh, <laughs> not really. Not really. Oh, sorry, I have uh, One last mistake I feel people make dating, whether it's one-on-one -on -one or in a consensually non-monogamous relationship, monogamish, as some people might call it, mm -hmm. not clarifying boundaries with your partner. Okay, but I'm going to go off that and don't assume that that's okay or that's not okay. You didn't, did you not, don't assume. Don't are you assume not that, listening? You're sitting in the new studio. First time. I know. Are her headphones working, Danny? Yeah, they were, cause they, they, I just don't ever assume because a lot of people, a lot of people say, um, that's what? <laughs> not clarifying boundaries. That's assuming. No, that's assuming would be, right, so I'm saying one of the mistakes is they don't clarify boundaries. Right, but I'm saying a lot of people assume that, oh, right. we didn't talk about it, but it's okay if I do it because blah, blah, so blah. So clarify boundaries. Oh, my God. <laughs> I say more human terms, adult terms, and clarify. <laughs> Sounds like a woman's name. Okay, but it goes back to what I said too. I think is big. Don't assume, right? Yeah. All right. That's what I just said. It, ah, <laughs> seriously, I love you. You're further away from me than usual, so I, and you can't, can't kick me under the table. No, you can't hit me. In the old studio, Danny, we we're right next. I love being next to her. So you now these mics are close. Maybe another time. But she would like smack me a few times. Oh yeah, you are so not telling the truth. We're gonna get Aaron here, right? We're gonna get Ben some Cool. Are you dying? Know. Yeah, it's hot in here. <laughs> it's all right. No worries. No worries. All right, we're loving it. We're loving it. New studio, amazing. Uh, Darren just logged in and, and is, is watching and listening. And Darren knows these studios here. Darren used to be with Playboy Radio. Now comes over here and works on a great show with uh, probably doesn't like but uh, Faustino. I was gonna say Bud Bundy, but. David Fossino does a show here. Fos oh, Bud, Bud Bundy. Bundy. The kid. Yeah, oh, Bud Bundy. Do you ever work with that with Danny? Yeah, you know Darren. Yeah, Darren's a great guy. All right. You and I tweeted, uh, we talk often about our 12-minute rule. Yes. And I want to explain that a little bit. I ask people, couples especially, right? Mm -hmm. Well, actually, couples. You're not going to ask people to Yeah, it's kind of tough. Talk to yourself. <laughs> hey, Michael, how you doing? Hey, it was a good day, Michael. What about you? Oh, not so bad. You know, we were... No, anyway. As a couple, I believe you should take at least 12 minutes and connect. I'm not going to say reconnect because that implies so you that you're not connected. connected right? right. So connect with your partner. Love, live, laugh, kiss, hug, tell each other a joke. Go online and find jokes. Think about something that happened. But here's what I'm asking Pins you. Kids are rest together. Here, yeah. Here's what I'm asking you not to do. Okay? Okay. Don't talk about bills. No. Don't talk about family issues. No. Don't talk about stressful things because the rest of the day, you can do that. Right. And the reason I said that is couples who spend at least 10 minutes a day together, evidence has shown us for the last 15 years, whether it's laughing, sharing, or anything like I just said, are more likely to have a stronger relationship. I totally agree with that. So 12 minutes. You're not just complaining about your day or you're not doing this or that. You're you're actually bonding for the 12 minutes. Right. And even though it may not seem like a long time, like there's 24 hours, obviously, and 12 minutes is not even... Whatever. <laughs> not gonna Half do, of that? I'm yeah. I'm not even going to do the math. <laughs> but it's 12 minutes that you two are just you two. Oh, I just moved back and got, I, I can hear it. Oh, I can hear it in both ears now. Uh, you just, oh, you just had to wiggle it just a little bit. I just had to wiggle it a little bit. There it is. Oh, I, oh I'm in stereo now. There we go. All right. <laughs> Yay me. Why 12 minutes? Well, research says 10 minutes. A lot of people hear 15 minutes and think that's too long. 
Ten minutes sounds too short. Yeah, right. Oh my god, I gotta tell her jokes. Or no, read the jokes. Read the jokes. Take twelve minutes. It's an easy number to remember. That's all it's you a fun can, number to remember. All you can do is read the jokes, baby. Yeah, I'm not that funny. <laughs> People know how to mess with you, though. Oh yeah. They come up to you now. You told him how to mess with me. No, so. they listen. They listen. Mm -hmm. The Playboy Radio's Holly Michael, powered by Dash Radio. Now go download the app, iOS Store or Google Play. I think it's called, right? Do you have Android? Google Play. Is it Google Play? Oh, you have an Android. You have an Android? Oh, no, oh. Anyway. okay, good iPhone. iPhone. Oh, All right, you're yeah. gonna have to get a new. <laughs> I still am cracking up. The Samsung 7s, we've been flying, we fly a lot, but we've been flying exceptional, quite a lot. No, not Samsung 7, it's the Note. The Note, well, this is Samsung. Galaxy Note. Galaxy Note, it's the Samsung, yeah. right? Not a lot on the plane at all. I mean, at all. They take it away from you. What would you do? So, How many people actually phone? admit to having their phone, though, if they know oh, it's going to be taken no. away? I'm just hoping they don't blow the plane up. It's a huge risk. It is. So I'm hoping people just leave their phones at home or get it, go get it. Go get an iPhone. Go get people. an Apple, people. <laughs> I got the new 7 Plus. It rocks. I know yours yeah, is Yeah, whatever. Soon. All right. Who to thunk? Really? That's not a word. Who to thunk? Dr. Seuss had so many, what I'm going to use as sex positive, open minded quotes to live by. Dr. Seuss? Doc, I, had, I had to write them down so I can read them. These I can't remember. I can't do them up. Are these head. hidden in this vault so no one knows about? No, them? these are actually in some of his books. Wow. You can Google them. Okay. These are. Are you going to read to us now? I'm going to read. Brent might be at the gym doing a set, maybe a legs, and Brent's going to now hear, and everyone watching and listening, you're going to hear Dr. Seuss quotes that I find to be sex positive, I find to be very healthy and open minded. You ready? Yeah, of course. Quote If you never did, you should. These things are fun. And fun is good. Um, okay. I, I kind of agree with that. What's wrong with that? Not butt sex. That's horrible. You've you had it. You never do that. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Don't listen to Pockets. She's biased and jaded. I agree. I watched a movie last night called Nerve, and it was just about this girl that never took chances. And she took a chance, and she had an amazing time. Did she? Right, she almost died, but she had an amazing time. She had time. an amazing time. <laughs> Anal sex rocks, well, me giving, not getting. I'm not into getting, you know, that's no, what. Me neither. Some men like a pinky and a stinky. They like that prostate. I'm just not into it. My good friends will tell me, it's the best orgasm, Mikey. It's the best. You're going to just you blow make, a bigger load. How can you make a better orgasm than you already have? Uh, you know what? I agree with you. You know, my nuts are down there too, but we're not, we're not stealing those either. You can lick on those a little bit. I like the way you've been playing with those lately. They're a little hairy. Good job there. They're not hairy. <laughs> I beat. I don't use mirror. It's a little too rough on my skin. All right. Here's another. Christina's watching right now, listening, thinking, where are they? Because the new studio. She doesn't realize our old intern, Christina. Ooh, Christina, if you're single, are you single, Danny? Danny's single. Christina's single. We need because Sasha's not single. Christina is a beautiful young lady. Just graduated. She's our intern. We might have to introduce you guys. She's a little. You know, she's a little she's mm -hmm. firecracker. She's a firecracker in a good way. All right. Dr. Shoes, sex positive, open minded quote. You ready? You ought to be thankful, a whole heaping lot, for the people and places you're lucky you're not. Wait, I don't, I don't get the last part. Okay. For the, you're lucky you're you not. You ought to be thankful, a whole heaping lot. So, yeah. hey, be happy. Be happy of wherever, yeah. Of who you are, because there's a lot of people you wouldn't want to be. Uh, you know that saying, yeah, yeah. if you throw up, Sasha, we love you too. you got to come see the new studios. Hi to everyone. I'm not saying hi to everybody, sorry. <laughs> hi, everybody watching. Um... If you throw your problems into a pile, you would beg for yours back. Oh, totally. So that's what he's saying there. Is stop wishing you were somebody else because uh, you're lucky you're not. You don't understand what other probably people. have less trouble. All right, another Dr. Seuss. You ready? Of course. Sex positive, open-minded quote. Quote, so be sure when you step, step with care and great tact. And remember that life's. A great balancing act. Totally true. Totally true. Oh my god. I remember totally that book. True. I used to read it. Sasha, you can come tomorrow for sure. Text me. Like yesterday. Uh, yep. I don't even know what book it's from. Here's another quote from Dr. Seuss that I believe is open-minded and sex positive. Ready? Mm -hmm. All right. And I love the modern love of Playboy Radio powered by Dash Radio allows us to do this. Yeah. It's amazing. Right? So powerful. Quote, oh, the things you can find if you don't stay behind. Just Teresa. get out of your goddamn house once in a while. Right. I like my house. I know, but... Stop yelling at me. No, not you. Listen, Tinder is fun. But if you're one, go with your friends to a bar and Tinder there. I've seen a lot of people do this. 
Why don't you meet somebody in the bar? No, no, no. I can look at the profile on Tinder. I can get to know a little bit about somebody. And then I can ask them to meet me somewhere. And then my friends will... You Fine, I don't care. You really creepy when I know. you do that, by I was way. trying to be a female there, too. It wasn't working. Wow. I can't... I would not date you if you were a female. I wouldn't date me either, Ross. <laughs> yeah. This nose barely works on me, baby. I'm Italian. This nose barely works on me, so it's not going to work on a female. Yeah. Nah. But I like what he's saying there. Get out and do something. Get out and do something. Try Absolutely. something new. Try something new. All right. I want to try, uh, what's it called? Archery. Archery? Yes, I think I'd be really good at it. You you just think he's hot. Uh, who? What's that show you like? Green Arrow? No idea. Yeah, I haven't watched that forever. Oh, but that's why I you want to try archery. I'd be badass at it. You might be. Or you might I could shoot, better shoot than me you. in the ass with it. I, I could shoot you better. True, because you can't shoot a gun better than me, so maybe you'll shoot a bow and arrow better than me. I can still shoot a gun better than me. We have ta- we're going to do it again. When we go home to, to your right. mom and dad's, All right. we'll do it again, and I'll, I'll, I'll kick your butt again with that. That's okay. right. Dr. Seuss, open-minded, sex-positive quote. Ready? Mm-hmm. Quote, today you are you. That is truer than true. There is no one alive who is youer than you. That's so true. <laughs> well, right. Be happy with who you are. Right. That's the only you you're going to be. Don't try to be someone else. Don't try to... Yep. I mean, obviously, keep up with the fad. Yep. Uh. Yep. Keep up with the what? <laughs> the fad. The, the fad. fad? Oh, yeah. Keep up with the fad. Be yeah. happy with who you are. You can't change you. You can you can make adjustments like boob jobs and stuff, but you, right. you're still you. You have to live with you, so make it the best you. And no one can be a better you were than you. No. So be the best you that you can be. These are all Y-O-U, not E-W-U, honey. <laughs> that? <laughs> I don't even know what you is. A sheep? sheep. I think it's a sheep. sheep. Let's not go down that road. No, 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 no. There no, are a few no. rules on Playboy Radio that we still follow, and uh, yeah, we don't talk about those things. Yeah, exactly. Danny, when we first started, the, the program director said, all right, here's the five rules. You never talk about bestiality, incest, uh, pedophilia. Ow. Your mother? Yeah, no. <laughs> the competition, there's one other. What was the other one? It's, uh, oh, rape. Great. So we don't talk about those five things. Pretty it's five important it's ones. Pretty five important ones, right? You agree? Danny's thinking, thank those God they know that. Just life rules in general. Life rules in general, I agree. Be the best you can be. Be happy with who you are. If you think someone else has a better life, don't worry about it. Better yourself. Envy, you know how people consider envy to be a bad word? Yeah. Envy can actually be extremely healthy. Because it can motivate you. Exactly. Yeah. You can learn if jealousy is is um jealousy can be unhealthy because it can cause you to do negative things. Yes, I think jealousy is unhealthy. Right. One is wanting to take what someone else has, and one is wishing you had what someone else has. And that's envy. And that's envy. Yeah. So if you wish you wanted it, you're not trying to take it. You can make it. (laughs) Don't take it, make it, or fake it till you make it. Like you do to bed every night. I know, I know. Last but not least, and Stephen Jones, we are going to get to your question. Last but not least, Dr. Seuss, sex positive, open-minded quote. You ready? Uh Uh-huh. Quote, unless someone like you cares a whole awful lot, nothing is going to get better. It's not. What do you mean by cares? <laughs> <laughs> For like, you, we have to define that a little. I don't. I don't care about a lot of things, but when I when I do, it's that's all I care about. Right. But, okay. Take the goddamn quote for what the goddamn <laughs> quote says. Seriously, you little narcissist. No, I love you. I love you. Narcissist. No, no, I'm just saying I don't care about a lot of things. You don't care about a lot of things, but that's okay. Does it mean life's not gonna be better if I don't care? No, life's gonna be what you want it to be, and, and that's why you pair up well with me because I care too much. You don't care right. enough about some things. True. It's, but that's okay. That's what gets you. That's the way you are. That's what, what makes you you. That that's what's incredible about pockets. I mean, yeah. that's. What's, but again, nothing can get better if you're not willing to care about it and work towards it. I'm not telling True. you to go take care of other people's problems. Okay, good. I'm not telling you to worry about how other people see you or think about you. Yeah, I don't care. That's no freaking way to live. It's just it's just no fun. No, it's not. Psychologically speaking, you're going to really suck at it if you try to do that. <laughs> but that's, I think Dr. Seuss had some great sex positive, open-minded quotes. All right. Let me get to a question by Stephen Jones here on uh, Facebook Live before we go any further. Here he asks, I'm 47 and it seems a lot of women I meet are menopausal and not interested in sex anymore. Should I be going out with younger women? Never want to have luck with younger women. Really? Now, I'm curious, and Stephen, it's tough because right now the phone line isn't open um, because we're in a new studio. We're de-virginizing the studio. Probably it's Danny and I. This is kind of your Put your thing back in your pants. Hey, hey, hey. My thing isn't out yet. Wait, my pen? No, my pen is out. Tough, tough to answer without understanding a little more because... I've known many menopausal women 
who desire sex with the one issue they're having is dryness. Y- yeah. Um, and they, there's medicine for that. There's medicine. Well, there's also something. There's also lube. Thank you. Nice four letter word. Yeah. Lube. Yeah, it's yeah, four letters. letters. Yeah, and guys, guys, if a woman's dry, it does not mean she's not turned on. She can be on birth control. She can be on a medicine. There's so many reasons why women's vaginas aren't. Or if you mean your penis dry. is too small. Well, <laughs> that's got nothing to do with a woman's moisture. I just wanted to say it. Yeah. Oh, that's funny. Yeah. I there's a lot of things you can do to make it moist. And yeah, but hold if you're on. not interested in sex. Yeah, go there. Then just have more foreplay. A lo- women love foreplay. Well, I don't think men understand the meaning of it and how long you should do it okay but what he's saying there's not a minute timer on it but yeah but you're you're talking about a woman that might be interested in sex Mm -hmm. per se what what steven is talking about though is a woman who's not interested in sex at all so let's back up because you make a great point how old are these women they're menopausal so they're they're a little older there so should you be dating younger women if you like them go for it a lot of it to me is chemistry Mm-hmm. Um, younger or older, to me, it really boils down, in my opinion, to chemistry. And if you don't have a lot in common with them or you're having trouble meeting them, then we can talk about that off air. Feel free, uh, at SwingTime69 on Twitter, or the best way to do it, we go hollyandmichael at gmail.com, and we can talk off air with that. But, Pockets, you're exactly right about foreplay, so let, let's go to that. I often tease you, but there's some seriousness to it. Uh-oh. Well, no, I compare you thinking about sex to you thinking about the gym. Yeah. You are never excited to go to the gym. <laughs> You're not really that excited about thinking about sex. You but change and do all that and get sweaty. Right. Same thing with sex. I know. Oh, I got to do this. I got to do that. But once you're at the gym, you start feeling a little better, just like when we start with foreplay. Right. When you're done with the gym. I feel great. And when we're done with sex. I feel great. Most of the time, I hope. No, I do. Okay, good. So what I'm saying to Steven, and I believe you're agreeing with me, is if you get it started, you'll both enjoy the finish. Of course. So build up to it. Yep. Go along with it. Build up to it. Um, the foreplay, like you said, is stimulating the brain and the body. Yeah. The largest sexual organ. And you get your brain. Your and brain. If you get her going, she's probably going to finish. Well, so just get or, her going. or let you finish. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> finish I mean, for you. Or finish for you and then say, get the hell out. I don't know. Right. Hey, you're a vampire. The sun's coming out. Get out! <laughs> I agree with everything you're saying about the foreplay, but a woman that he's sharing that these post premenopausal, menopausal, or even postmenopausal women, many I have known are their hormones might be a little out of whack, but they're sexual. I mean, they want to the whole cougar theory. Right, and some women actually don't like sex because it hurts, because they could be dry. Because they so, didn't use enough lube, or they were afraid to tell a guy they wanted to use lube because the guy was going to be insecure. Yeah, you get that, right? If a woman's not wet, it's not because she's not turned on by you. You know, if a guy doesn't have an erection, it's not necessarily because... No, it's because no, he's, he's not turned on. Or, you know, hey... Men are totally different. Not if they have stress, anxiety, bills to pay, oh, whiskey yeah, dick. Come on, whiskey dick is real. I know. Episode that. two, season two. Yeah, season two. Whiskey... No, episode one. Episode one, actually. John and Corinne. Whiskey dick is real. It, it is real. It is... Michelle! The bitch is on. So she just got back from Jamaica. So has a lot of other dick. It's... Yeah, so penises don't always get hard even if they were, were aroused. Mentally. Mentally. Yeah. We have things Come going on. Come on, little buddy. Hey. <laughs> hey, why would you call it little buddy? Yeah, exactly. Come on, little buddy. He's not as big as you. You ladies have that four-letter word that is like cheating. Oh, oh really? Lube. Oh. Lube. Lube. Oh, my God. We still have to fake it. Fake it till you make it, baby. <laughs> fake it till you make it. That's really hard to do, you know. Not really. No, it's not. Not for you. You just, uh, uh, you're done. Yeah. Roll your eyes back in your head. And you're like, oh, <laughs> or is, is that why you like doggy style so much so I can't tell so you can't tell him why. Ah, damn eyes. it. I knew there was a reason why. I'm like yawning. Steven, no, not, not to, uh, it's H-O-L-L-I. Holly and Michael at gmail.com. Yes, H-O-L-L-I. So menopausal know? women may not. Some of them may not be interested in sex or tell you they're not interested in sex. They're not challenging you. Use it as stimulating. Use it as something to, if there's... Get knowledge about it. If there's chemical attraction to each other, mm-hmm. right? Doesn't mean that they're not attracted to you. They might just not be interested in sex. They could have had many bad sexual experiences. You and I know a lot of women and men yeah. who have a negative perception of sex or they have no interest in sex because they didn't enjoy sex or have good sex or... They were put down by their partner. They weren't pleased by their partner. Guys, don't be afraid 
to ask a woman what she likes. Women, don't be afraid to tell a man and don't get insulted if the man asks, hey, do you like your clitoris being licked here or here? Duh. You guys are all different. We are. You're different. We are. <laughs> you know? We're not like a one-hit wonder type thing. You have to. No, you're not like that. Vanilla Ice. One-hit wonder. You're right. Uh, but you have to figure out every single woman. We're all different. Ask. It's like you. Well, no, men are just the same. Yeah. Well, you do the holly king. You stroke it. You lick it. You, you know, you deep throw it once in a while. We're good to That's go. That's practice, though. That's why I want my finger, by the way. Oh. <laughs> it's bigger than my penis. Oh, no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> all right. Talking about relationships. Menopause of women, possibly. Right? Yeah. Well, Mark's making a point, or opposite. They want more sex. It's very positive. Very positive. Why does God punish us? Seriously, it's very po- What? God punishes us. We bleed. We have menopause. What do you have? You got nothing. We have to deal with you bleeding and having oh. menopause. Oh. Okay. We get blue balls. Oh, you poor thing. From when? When do you ever get blue balls? Okay, you're talking about me. I'm talking about most men in general. Unfortunately. Oh, you never get blue balls. Well, it- Anyway, you guys so, have nothing. What do you mean we have nothing? You mean we? You have you suffer n- not what none so, no whatsoever. I believe in faming, not shaming. I'm telling you now, though, if men have vaginas, there'd be a lot of unnecessary sex going on. There's, there's. That's true, but oh my god, bleed from your penis or something. Do something. <laughs> Make us feel better about us. <laughs> We have sympathy pains. Oh, ho, ho. Yeah. We have to deal with your cramps and all that. Mm-hmm. You know? I mean, hey, hey, it's it's real. It's real. So not real. Yeah. I don't even have cramps. What are you, what are you complaining True. about? And when you did, you were always fun. I you was. were always fun like that. I'm a good person. I'm just, you're pretty cool. <laughs> but yes, Mark is correct too, though. They may want more sex. So they weren't getting it or uh-huh. they're just not interested because no one's fulfilling. That's where we go back to what we talked about, mistakes during dating. Don't assume. Ask questions. Mm -hmm. Don't claim to be the best someone's ever had or you're going to be the best they ever have because then you have a lot to live up to and if you don't, I dump you. If a woman said to you and I are men and a woman said to you and I, we're going to be the best. Oh, I want to talk about that. Oh, Oh, I want to talk about that. Oh, I got to write that down. (laughs) Oh, my God, I got to talk about that. Okay, sorry, sorry. This happened uh, Uh... while we were gone. But, yeah, if... (laughs) Michelle's saying, if... Ever knew how much fun having no period would be? Hysterectomies would be given away at the corner drugstore. Oh my God, they have no idea. Women that bleed, I feel so sorry for them. Yeah, but you had to. You had health issues. Our twelve-year-old daughter wants to have her uterus removed. And I don't understand why. Yeah, but it's so weird. It's so much easier. My ex is saying, "Um, why is our daughter talking about wanting?" I said, "Oh, because pockets had to for health." Okay, Michael, thank you. Now it makes sense. Uh-huh. So she's. Life is great. She asked me how much they cost. She'll save up the money and pay for it herself. I said, baby, A, don't worry about your money. B, no doctor's going to remove your uterus at 12 years old. It just doesn't happen. Right. But why not? I don't want to have kids. I'm going to adopt a baby from Africa and a baby from China. That's the kids I want, baby. As long as they're not smarter than her. Yeah. <laughs> that's, not, that's what she that's says, what she isn't says. it? All right. I had other things I wanted to talk to you, but that just reminded me of something. And you're so wrong on this. Let me, let me set this. You want to set the stage? No, you said it. Let me set the stage. You're a good story. Danny, and you got to hear this too. Let's use couple A because we cannot use names. Okay. Couple B and couple C. Okay. All right. Couple C isn't as relevant, but couple A, full swaps. They're situational full swap like you and I are. What does that mean is that the man can have sex with the other woman and the woman and the wife can have sex with the other man. Both parties are married in this case. As long as the situation is correct and they've communicated about it. Mm-hmm. So, which is really full swap. It's situational adding that it's not every time, it's not every one. Yes. All right. A and B agree. Everything is coming up roses. The stars are aligned. They full swap. They play with their partners. They play with the other people. The women are bisexual. The men are straight. Mm-hmm. So, now couple A and couple B are done. And couple A, wife, tells wife from couple C <laughs> that husband from couple B, you with me? Uh-huh. Danny, you with me? was the best sex she's ever had. Hold on. Husband A agrees that the wife from couple B was best sex or great sex. I don't remember if he said best, but he said great sex. But the focus really is on wife A Mm -hmm. telling wife C that husband A, sorry, husband E, B, B, B. Holy crap, I'm adding to my life. I know, husband B was the best she'd ever had. Was the best sex she's ever had. I think that is such a shame. Why? Because you're married. The, the best sex you ever had. Granted, they may not be. What if 
what if they're not that good in your spouse is not that good in bed but they're your spouse and it's the emotional connection with the physical connection ah you're assuming you're assuming right now between. you're assuming right now i'm not assuming anything yes you are you're assuming <laughs> that she's implying that it's the best set because of emotions and physical no, I didn't say that. I yes, you did. She's, You're, she you just said he's the best sex I've ever had. Right, but you said her husband should be the best sex because of the emotion and the physical, right? Even if even if her husband was crap, she it's a still a no thing to say. Absolutely disagree. Mm. If you're communicating, would your feelings be hurt if I said this guy was the best sex I ever had? I'd ask you, tell me what he did so I can try to emulate well, it. Wouldn't your feelings be hurt a little, or your your you like, no? A little bit? Unless you said to me, "That's the best sex I've ever had. I'm leaving you now for him." Then my feelings would be hurt. Well, I think men's egos are way too. Uh, I disagree. I fragile to say, "Yeah, he's better than you." And, and husband A didn't care. Point is, is. Wife C and you thought wife A was wrong. I disagree. Here's I, didn't say, I didn't say she was wrong. I said it was a shitty thing to say. I disagree, and this is why. To say a physical act is the best you've ever had. First of all, it's subjective. Well, it is yeah, subjective. Of course. Because you she may... She has this to go off of, and then she has well, this, and she's like, wow. Her experiences cool. are her experiences. Of course. You and Michelle and wife C may have sex with husband to be... And say, yeah, he's all right, but I've had better. <laughs> Judging just the physical. Uh -huh. You and I are 100% emotionally monogamous. So if you were to say to me, it's the best sex I ever had. I felt it in my heart, my head, my vagina, ever. I'm not jealous. I'm thinking, hold on, something's going on here. Right. Goes back to finding someone attractive and being attracted to somebody. Mm -hmm. Finding someone attractive. Danny's a good looking guy. I'm straight. I have no desire to have sex with him or him have sex with me. That's a difference. Attractive, yeah, good looking. Attracted to somebody means I want to explore it some more. Right. Now. There may be emotions involved. There may be. So saying that it, he was the best sex she ever had, you're saying it's a shitty thing to say. I'm saying it's awesome because she's free enough to be honest with. I can, I can think it, but I'm not going to say it. <laughs> you wouldn't. No, a wife C told her it was a good. I dis and we I love wife C too. Yep. We played with wife C and husband C. Mm -hmm. We played with them. I just don't think a physical act. Again, it's subjective. It's her opinion. I don't think she's betraying or being rude to her husband by being honest. Okay. What do you think? I think she is. What do you think, Katie? <laughs> do you think she's betraying her husband, or but you want to jump on the mic? Or you, is it on? Go ahead. What do you think? I don't think if she's she's telling her husband this. It's, she is. I mean, no, I'm saying, like, if she's being honest, like, it's right. no problem. Right. But if, like, you're lying, eh, it's a little bit of an issue. Or not even lying. If you're, so what I'm sharing is if the implication is he's the best sex I ever have, I may leave you for him, then that there's. That wasn't a, the implication, though. She just said. Yeah, but that's how you and C took it, though. You and wife C took it that way. That is not correct. We just said it was a crappy thing to say. Because oh it could have hurt husband A's feelings. Yeah. But that's between husband A and wife A. And Doesn't husband wife. husband A's is more important than some random. Of course. But if they talk about it and it's okay, all I'm saying is if if I said to you, now, I'm different. Let's say there's a woman we play with, and we played with a lot of women, who was really good in bed. Mm -hmm. They'll never be better than you in my head because my heart and my head are connected to you. So you would never say that? I would never feel that. <laughs> there's a difference. The reason I would never feel that is because nobody can compete with you on that level because they don't own, they don't have my heart. Right. You have my heart. So to be the best sex I ever had means I have to be look. When I was married to Liz, that was the best sex I ever had. And it wasn't physically perfect all the time yeah. or most of the time, but it was the best because I was also in love. I'd never been in love before. Okay. I'm in love with you. Right. You know, you can say, well, isn't it a better love than you had before? It's a different. No, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna ask you to say that. Right. It's a different. So no woman we play with will ever be better in bed than you because they don't have my heart. And my heart now being in love with you is attached to my penis. <laughs> no, it wasn't. It wasn't before. When I was single, you no. Had surgery you had to get. I had to have it disconnected okay. for a while, and then I had the doctors reconnect. Kind of like a vasectomy, you know. Yeah. But this was a gotcha. never mind a brain acting. Brain. Separated brain. two heads. Well, uh, <laughs> Do you understand where I'm going with this, though? Yeah, I do. That's I don't something. feel in a consensually non-monogamous relationship. If you're saying that behind your spouse's back, that's not fair. Mm -hmm. 
that's where I would say, how come you can't share that with him? If you can't share that with him because it would hurt his feelings, then you need it. Well, then it's a crappy thing to say. But I've said to you, you said to me, hold on, hold on, let's back I up. I said that they were good. You but said I to me. You never said that they were better than you. Ten out of ten times, you would take a woman eating you out over me. Because I like women. Doesn't that mean they're better? No, you are amazing to go down there. However, they're right? not better than you. I just prefer it. Should my feelings be hurt? If they are, I'm sorry. No, my feelings, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Fact that we're consensually non-monogamous aside, mm -hmm. the fact that you share that with me tells me how much you're in love with me and how much you trust me. And I, and I appreciate that. Okay, take that scenario one step further. What if she continues to only prefer that man? Over her husband? Yes. Again, now you're talking about lying and possibly cheating and deceiving. Well, even if he's there. What if he's there and she prefers having sex with him? Over her husband? Yes. Does she talk about it with her husband? I don't know yet. This, okay, this that's, is a hypothetical that, situation. that's where I would ask that question. Did she share it with her husband mm -hmm. that, you know what, for the rest of this trip, I want to have sex with just that couple? With you, honey, and that man. Nobody else. Because we, you counseled a couple last year, actually at PD, that they started playing, and she, the, the wife, preferred only this guy, and she would push her husband away, and she'd only have right. sex with a specific guy, she'd go visit him in Italy, and all blah, blah, blah. So that's wrong. That's wrong. I know that's wrong. First of all, she told the husband all these things. Mm -hmm. That husband, and as I said to him, I don't tell people to divorce, I ask them to think. If everything you're sharing with me, is true mm -hmm. to you because really what matters is it true? no one right. truer you were to you than you right yeah dr susan unless you lie to yourself unless you lie to yourself <laughs> cognitive dissonance let's not get there but if you believe everything you're saying is true then you need to reevaluate what you're doing in this relationship mm -hmm. and that's what i said to him if you believe your wife is means everything she's saying and saying everything she means which is really bad stuff oh yeah because really, they were they weren't polyamorous Nope. They were only supposed to play casually, and their rule was they could play twice with the same people, and that's it. Because they felt a third time could cause okay. emotional attachment. First two times, nah, you know, first time might be jitters. Second time, you're going to perfect it a little bit, but no more. That's it. Right. You're right. This wife wanted to go visit the man in Italy. She wanted the man to move here from Italy and have him pay for it. He was a very wealthy man, the one here in the States, her husband. And that's where I said to him. What she's saying, and she was right there, I said, what she's saying to you, you have to decide if it's fair or not. And based on what you two have told me, well, that's not fair. Right. But I can't tell you what to do. You must figure out what's more important. Important. More important. <laughs> I mean, that's It's Huntington Beach. Huntington Beach. <laughs> Huntington. I know, I say Huntington Beach. That's crazy. Ah. Huntington. But going along that same theory, don't you agree? Hi, Gloria. Don't you agree? I miss Gloria at the pharmacy the other day. That's why I saw her. Gloria just here. I went to the pharmacy to get her meds. Gloria wasn't there. I was so sad. Oh. I know. She didn't send her work on. My lovers. Yeah. They're my lovers. I go to the pharmacy just to see them. And see. <laughs> you never go in. I don't go in the pharmacy that much. No. I know. But I like going there to see Gloria and Sandra. All right. The best sex ever. Mm -hmm. Subjective number one. If you're hiding it from your partner, that's where I'm wondering what's wrong. Because if, mm -hmm. if you don't have to hide it, then that tells me you're communicating with your partner on all levels. Okay. All right. You don't want to talk about it anymore? No. Only because I know I'm right. <laughs> I go back to you saying 10 out of 10 times you would prefer a woman over me going down on you. 10 out of 10 times. But I'm not well, hurt by it. You prefer women go down on you. I only let I women go down on me. That. <laughs> I only let women go down on me. So, uh, duh. You've got no argument there, buddy. I got a huge argument there because we agree on that. Again, though, if she communicates to him the way you communicated that to me, then it's open, it's consensual, it's okay, it's understood. If it's being hidden, if it's being lied about, if it's being deceitful, no, then I have a problem. Then I have a major problem, it's a different story to me. All right, would you then, okay, so here we're talking about relationships. Mm -hmm. Let me ask you then some bad ideas or, or things that you maybe shouldn't say in a relationship um, or if you're hoping to be in one. Okay. All right? Is this like your butt looks big in that dress type of thing? <laughs> How does my ass look in this dress? You guys. You know, remember how she asked Danny earlier, what do we have to deal with? Yeah, you. How do I look in these jeans? Does my butt look big in these jeans? There's only one answer. What are you expecting? Now, I tell you honestly. Yeah, and I don't like that. Uh, well. Lie to me about that. Okay, lie to you about that. I'll lie to you about that. If my butt's getting bigger, you lie. 
I lie and say what? You like having a round, juicy double bubble, whatever it's called. I like my juice. Is it double or bubble? Sir mix a lot. Sir mix a lot, yeah. Oh my god. Baby got back. You know, I don't I don't I don't get the whole craze of putting implants in your ass. How do you sit down? I could never sit on my breast. It's the stupidest <laughs> thing point. women do. It is good and point. what happens when the craze goes away and your butt's still big? Uh, we'll find out when Kim Kardashian. Are they gonna take it out and your butt's gonna be saggy? I don't know. It's so stupid. I don't know. Well, do they have to be replaced like breast implant? Probably. And what if you can't afford to replace some of these? Gonna, what if one pops and you're like one, one. What if your left? Down. What if your left cheek is at your like kneecap? Right. All right. And what if you sit down really hard and it's bouncing? <clears throat> that would be actually fun. Well, that would be kind of fun. Yeah. That could make you being on top a little different though, right? Ooh. Like have ooh. Oh, I get it. You know what glory holes are right. So instead of a glory hole, put a board there. Put your penis through the hole and have your juicy double bouncing up and down on the board. Well, because bouncing my thighs isn't going to be so as... Wrong. There's not enough room to bounce on my thighs, but on a board you can bounce up and down on. So wrong. That'd be fun. All right, bad idea of things. Don't say these things uh, if you're in a relationship or you're hoping to be in one. Agree or disagree? You'd be hotter if you... Yeah, you could add anything there. Is that a shitty thing to say? Yeah, don't ever say. say that. Playboy Radio is Holly and Michael's Modern Love, powered by Dash Radio, live right now uh, with you on Facebook and many other places. Don't forget to go... At Sweet Time 69 on Twitter, Michael Pockets on Facebook. All right. You'd be hotter if you, bad thing to say, right? Yeah. Not going to get you anywhere. <laughs> Never say that. All right. Ladies, here's one. See, a dude to a dude, different. Okay. But as a lady, if you tell your man to man up, oh, not so no good. Don't say that. Nothing will put your guy on the defensive faster than questioning his manliness. Yes. I totally you know? Agree. Hey, my ex could get it up. Whoa! Uh, you know, or, or... Or anything. When you say man up, it's just, it's a... That's horrible. It's not healthy. You're implying that they're not a man to begin with or, or they're not a man at that time. Yeah, it's but. not healthy. All right, here's one. Hear what I'm saying, and then you want me to tell you what it implies or you want to guess what it implies? Tell me what it implies. Okay. If you say to your man or woman or woman, if you're a woman, you know, lesbian, gay, whatever, to your partner, mm -hmm. you wouldn't understand. Do you know what you're implying? That they're dumb. It's true. You are. You're implying they're ignorant means one who does not know. That's true. So you're implying that they're ignorant or dumb. And dumb is a lot worse than ignorant. There are certain things. Like, go back to cramps. Men don't understand cramps. No uterus, no opinion. No, exactly. <laughs> no uterus, no opinion. We All don't right. understand getting kicked in the balls because we don't have balls. No. So there's certain things that can go with, which however. Is, which is why you don't understand that getting kicked in the nuts is much more painful than childbirth. But we won't go there in this show. Because no one in ever history has done this to the same person. Right. They've never done that. Uh, do you want me to go back to why I know it's, it's worse? Why? I don't need to get kicked in the nuts to know how bad it hurts. But you ladies tell each other how bad it hurts. Okay, granted, you only had one. But if guys gave birth, I've said this so many times on air over the last five and a half years, there'd be fewer people on earth. There would be no people on earth. If Danny told me how painful it was, I'd be like, dude, I don't need to do it. I believe you. That's fine. Yeah. Right. There'd be no second births, that's for sure. Let alone very few first. Mm -hmm. It'd be the dude going, yeah, I'm more man. Oh, oh my it. God, it hurts. That's it. All right, another thing you shouldn't say. You really shouldn't. Mm -hmm. Because people don't enjoy constant insecurity. People don't enjoy having to constantly reassure you. So if you say to someone, do you like me? Oh, God, you I you like hate me? that. Am I your type? So do you like me? One of those questions that really think twice before you say it. Yeah. It's just that necessary. <laughs> I would say not at this moment. You, yeah. You keep asking me crap like that and I don't like you at all. Yeah. I would never ask that. All right. Just like questioning why someone likes you or if they like you, here's one. If you say it once or twice, we can discuss it. But if you constantly say it, if you're single and you meet somebody, it, they're not coming back that often, I think. Mm -hmm. And if you're in a relationship, mm, I wish my blank was better for you. No, it's just, that's in, it's, it goes back to the insecurity. Exactly. You're dripping. You're drooling. You're drowning in insecurity. Right. And you need to get that fixed. Right. Yeah, you do. <laughs> the dripping and the drooling. And the only way to fix it, though, is to communicate it with your partner. Yeah. But to keep dwelling on it. Oh, my God. It's like beating somebody over the head, right? Right. So, ultimately, it takes a toll on a relationship. And, and most importantly, you have to figure out together. You know, because insecurity starts with two letters. I end. It's in. Are you cold now? No, Beautiful perfect. 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 Oh my god. Okay, yeah, I, I just never know what to do with my arms. Flailing yeah, them about. Like this. No, flailing them about. 
But insecurity begins with two letters, I am. It's in, it's inside you. Deal with it by communicating it to your partner or partners. Mm -hmm. Polyamorous, you have multiple partners. Swinger, lifestyle, monogamish, you may have multiple sexual partners, but they don't need to know your insecurities. Right. When you and I play with single women, especially single women, couples don't seem to share as much, but single women, because we're kind of, I don't want to say we're one and done, but you and I might be one and done or one and two, and then we, we don't go back for a third that often because there's a lot we want to experience. Yeah. And we're not, you know, to us, slut's a great word. It really is. It's a faming word, not a shaming Heck word. Yeah. But that's just how we prefer to play, you and I. Yes. All right, anyway. I don't know where I was going with that. I don't either. Uh, don't, say that, don't say this to me. Oh, why not? But most people don't like to be told you're just like your mom or dad, you know, whoever it is. Uh, they don't. Even people who have wonderful relationships with their parents, great baby. Come back though if you're fighting. Yeah, but they harbor <laughs> words, baby words. words you know, if hurt. you told me I was just like my mother or father, true, they're, they're amazing awesome. people. But even when you have a great relationship with your parents, you can harbor fears of becoming exactly like your parents. I'd love to be like my parents. Say it. Yeah, they are pretty cool. They're pretty cool. Yeah, other than the the preaching the Mormon stuff all the time, they are pretty cool. Oh, they stopped doing that a long time ago. That's true. Plus, we sneak sneak fireball in the in the car. Right? <laughs> we and do. They, they probably know about it, but still let us do it. Nothing neuters someone quite like implying their opinions are meaningless and their words are a waste of your time. That <laughs> is a negative. <laughs> what? Nothing. Oh, I oh don't it. I didn't tell you. No, I probably do it to you too many times. We're like, oh my god, stop talking. <laughs> Yeah, I get paid to talk. And then you say, but we're not on air. Yeah, if it was paid by work, we'd be billionaires. Uh, Bill no. Gates would be like, oh my God, can I come to your parties? Yeah, seriously. All right. <laughs> That's great. I feel neutered now. Aww. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. All right. One, I'll give you two more. Two more things that aren't healthy to do if you're dating. Uh, bad ideas to say in a relationship, whether you're single or, or you're a uh, married couple, whatever, whether you're consensually monogamous or consensually non monogamous. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Why do I have to do everything? Yeah, I don't say that. I need some space and or I feel we should see other people. Ooh. That one's not bad. The why do I have to do everything? Communicate, because odds are you're not doing everything. You're just uh, drama queen. You're just whining about drama it? Drama king or queen, right? But I need some space. Okay, that itself is not fair. Well, that itself isn't fair. Sure, what's going on, though? We were on a break. I, we were on a break. I feel I need to explore more. Right? Because saying I need some space can sound negative. Just like when someone says, I've just lost attraction to you. I just go back a little bit and be like, is this okay? Is this okay? <laughs> Put it on space. 80% of the time when someone says I need space or I'm just not attracted to you anymore. Something's going on. Right. It's not those two things. It's something's missing. We haven't talked about it. Mm -hmm. I need to talk about it or this is over. Right. And they don't know what it is. You obviously just got told that something's going on. So instead of saying, what do you mean? I don't look good. I got to go to the gym. I got to do this. Wear makeup. I do. No. Or sometimes. Have those can, tough talks. Sometimes it can mean that's the way they're getting out of something. Because sure. They, they have someone on the side. Yep. Yep. Uh, that and when you say I feel we should see other people, you better be sure you're 100% ready to move on before you drop one of those bombs. Oh, yeah. I really feel you need to Because sometimes it probably means I'm already seeing someone. So how about you could see someone else too and we just won't live together. Well, our first show here at Dash, we... we um, we called an audible. Instead of going with what we had planned, we interviewed a lovely woman. I think we called her Nicole. Mm -hmm. uh, so, you know, she admitted. Yeah. She cheats on every boyfriend she's ever had and accuses them of cheating on her. Right. But oh, Fair somehow, point. right at that point, broadcast got interrupted. Oh. <laughs> right at that point. I wonder if she just interrupted the broadcast. Like, she's no. Like, yeah. <laughs> but she's awesome. She's amazing because she admitted she shared that. She just needs to admit it. To she you. needs to admit it to her partner because then it's know. only fair. Yeah. But be ready. Be sure you want to move on. Your insecurities, you know, you got to deal with them. Deal see with them. someone about them. Go like this for me. To... Raise your eyebrow. What? Yeah. What's up, Fernando? The Botox looks great in pockets <laughs> right like, now. What am I doing? Because uh, when we were in Puerto Vallarta, you got some Botox and some. Frac frackle? Fraxel? 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 We got some freckles? Paxel is for antidepressant. Wait, what do you got? Fraxel. <laughs> you got freaking Frax? Frax? Fraxel and Botox. Fraxel and Botox. It's all Great terms. Stuff. Dr. You. We just call him Fernando. What's up? Fernando. Fernando. He's a cool guy. I like Fernando a lot. Yes. Be sure, though, if these are things you want, that, uh, that you know that it's... Yeah, what was it? Oh, crap. How long have we been going? at all.
I'll never have this. I have no idea what time it is. No, I know what time it is, uh, but so like 56 minutes. So how, we're, at an hour, we're at like 56 minutes. Are we at 56 yeah. minutes? Well, that means the broadcast just came back up. We lost it twice. Unbelievable fun. I know we got off track a little bit. I don't think it's bad if someone says XYZ was the best sex ever, as long as you're communicating that with your partner, because then you're being open and honest. Mm -hmm. uh, went over a few things you should not say when you're in a relationship or if you want to be in a relationship. Talked about the 12-minute rule. Go back and watch. Listen to that. Please. Top mistakes people make when they're dating, whether they're in a consensually non-monogamous relationship mm -hmm. or a monogamous relationship. Oh, one of my favorite things we did today, too. What? The open-minded, sex-positive quotes from Dr. Seuss. Yes. I don't know why I'm going over it. I never do that. No, you don't. Okay. Playboy Radio's Holly and Michael. This is Modern Love, powered on the one, the only, Dash Radio. Go to the iOS App Store. Go to Android's Google Play. Download Dash Radio. Over 80 stations here. Comes right to your phone. Goes right to your car. Free to listen. Join us Monday through Friday. Uh, I don't even know the time, actually. We're, we're, we may still say at 1, we may go to 2 p.m. Pacific. We don't know. We will let you know soon. Just listen. Just listen in. Right? Yep. Are you ready, baby? Yes. Swing, swing. We love you, family. All right. Oh. What's up, playful pussycat? Are you ready? Yeah. Peace out. Peace out. We love you guys.